United Airlines flight attendants today voted to authorize a strike if contract negotiations continue to hit a dead end. With the November deadline looming, Andrew Ramos reports that as many as 28,000 workers could end up on the picket line. Well, today, United flight attendants gave a very overwhelming thumbs up to authorize a strike where 99.9% .9 of its workforce voted yes. It's the first time in nearly 20 years that United flight attendants voted for a strike authorization. It's a move the workers union, the Association of Flight Attendants says, was fueled by inaction by the Chicago-based carrier to negotiate in good faith, where they've been working with an amended contract since 2021. Flight attendants have been asking for a double-digit base pay increase, as well as pay upgrades for schedule flexibility, on-ground duties and retroactive pay. Many flight attendants say the current wage is not enough, especially as the cost of living continues to rise in major cities like Chicago and San Francisco. In a statement to CBS News Chicago, a spokesperson for United says both sides have been actively engaged in these negotiations, facilitated by the federal mediator, saying they remain eager to reach an agreement, but the union says it's taking too long and they need to act now. The cost of living is the biggest thing. We need to get those flight attendants to a living wage. The company has the money, they're showing it, they're giving out uh, double digits increases to our executives. Our pilots have just negotiated a contract and it's high time for the flight attendants to do the same. They're trying to move people at the bargaining table. And one of the ways, perhaps the best way that the union can do that is they can say uh, to the airlines, uh, all of our members are behind this. They're not divided. As of right now, there is no timeline for this strike. The strike authorization, according to the union, simply puts United leadership on notice to come back to the table to negotiate a fair contract for both sides. Reporting from O'Hare, Andrew Ramos, CBS News, Chicago. Andrew, thank you.